Hello, uh, this is Luis Emery again from the Proud Green Home here at Serenby. Uh We're very excited today. We've reached a milestone in our project. We've completely air sealed the building, done all the insulation, and we're at pre-drywall at this moment. Uh, although green building programs don't require a blower door test at this point, we decided to test and see uh, how we are before getting and, and finishing out construction. Uh, we're pleased to report that we conducted a, a blower door test, which this is uh, the equipment that you use for conducting such a test. This is called a blower door, okay? And this is the fan that we use to conduct the test, and this is the gauges or the gauge that you use to measure pressures and then convert that to CFMs. We just completed uh, completed running the test. The fan is off right now, but I've recorded the values. Uh, as you can see, uh, as we zoom in on a blower door test, you want to depressurize the house at 50 pascals because that's how uh, the protocol is, which is shown over here. And then the uh, screen on the right is actually your CFM's reading. You can see a number of 391. That number by itself doesn't mean anything, but if you use that number and compare it to uh, specific thresholds or the energy code, if you convert CFMs to air changes, hour at 50 Pascal code says that you need to be at seven. This home actually is at 0.7 air changes, hour at 50 Pascal. You can see that it's extremely tight uh, in terms of uh, um, Comparing that value, or if you would like to imagine what, what, how big of a leakage that we have here in this home in terms of something that you can picture, well, 391 CFMs equates to having in this home that has 33,000 uh, cubic feet of air, a hole of about four inches by four inches. So that's how much we were able to push this home to the limit in terms of air sealing and, uh, and how to treat penetrations and all that, giving us an amazing result. Basically, we're pretty much at the values uh, that they require on passive home uh, 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 infiltration. Okay, this is not a passive house, but we've got inspired in many uh, aspects of that uh, uh, design technique in terms of um, building envelope. Um, we use, how did we achieve that? Well, you can see on the walls that we had spray foam insulation deliberately applied in uh, wall cavities in the roof lines. And we also uh, used uh, from the outside, if you've seen in other videos, uh, Hubert's SIP arbor system, which then in turn we taped the seams from the outside and then we went a step further, which is we actually applied zip tape between the edge of these. If this were the zip floor and this is our slab, we actually taped like this, creating you know an air seal on the on the backside and from the inside, which you cannot see because it's covered by our indoor quality clean wrap paper. Uh, we uh, we caught with uh, no VOC or low VOC uh, silicone base. Uh, caulking and we also used as you can see in that window we taped many of the double studs okay instead of using traditional uh, uh, traditional caulk just to give us we believe we, we're experimenting with that technique to see what kind of uh, results we would get and it seems that all these little efforts may uh, have made a difference where we can say now that we are extremely tight and we're at pre-drywall. We haven't put any drywall or anything on the home and it's safe to say that as you add more interior layers, uh, the home will get a little bit tighter. So thank you.